Hello, today we are going to take a look at this Citizen Band 27 MHz linear amplifier. It's made by Italy company called Zetagi and the model number is B47. It's sold for the Citizen Band but in most countries that is not allowed to be used but they are still operational at 28 MHz which is a amateur 10 meter band it looks as you can see absolutely terrible but I tried it on dummy load and it was working just fine and the agenda for today is replacing that Two antenna sockets they are absolutely terrible and I'm afraid they might introduce the impedance issue so I ordered the replacement I hope it could be a drop-in let's try to open it and let's take a look I don't know how to open this the screw looks absolutely terrible. They would also need to be replaced, but they are a self-tapping screw. And I'm afraid that I not have them. We are going to see what kind of transistor is our output stage. Of course, if it will be easily accessible but it looks like it didn't help us so let's let's take a look what can grab this maybe we just need to pry that plate is that how you that looks like a good way it just rusted and this is what we've got inside looks like I'm not going to be able to see the output stage or should we hmm I believe we should yes we are going to see the output stage but let's see that corroded terminals this is a most important part to replace them because that is really bad looks like looks pretty close to me and yeah that might be a really nicely and now we can we can safely remove them the good bill will be oh that looks bad that looks really bad I'm going to find a new screw of the head are in a terrible condition I cannot open this one I need a different tool oh my goodness That is absolutely horrible.
and that looks like a really bad socket. The spacing looks all right. We've got a really nice drop in replacement. I'm going to align that way so we can make an easy solder. But that one screw is so corroded that I cannot stick a screwdriver there. Okay, I'm going to pause and find a different tool. I managed to unscrew it by using pliers and they both looking absolutely terrible. The screw, all of them need replacement. And because we are in that part, you can see we've got a nice fuse. Looks like single power transistor. And we have to we have to unscrew that. Take a look at the transistor and we are going to replace the thermal paste. I'm wondering if that's a Motorola. And that is a C1969. Very nice transistor. Does this board require cleaning? I don't think so. That looks like a flux. We are going to clean it up. Okay, and I'm going to add a thermal paste a little bit on the little bit on the transistor and some I'm going to add on the insulation plate just to get a nice contact just like that I'm going to align that it's going to nicely stick into the transistor and let's find it was that way I believe yes no maybe so yes that's the correct way and looks beautiful we hit the sweet spot we're going to take a look does it misalign no we've got nicely insulated it doesn't move Okay, looks really good. No problem aligning that. You can close down. Now we are going to find a replacement scroll. That one looks a little bit too small. Maybe that will do the job because that one yeah that one looks better so I'm going to try that first let's put the side for soldering that way Uh, 
and we just have to That looks much better. Now we have to solder our hot wires. very nicely And looks absolutely beautiful. Looks perfect. You can slide that part. Will it close? That's the question. And looks like yes. Tell me how does it look, because for me that looks like a perfect job. And the cherry on top would be replacing that two screw on the front panel.
it's done. That's how it looks like. I'm going to try it on the dummy load, make sure that everything is working fine. And I'm pretty sure that we've got a very well done job. So thank you very much for watching. See you next time and bye bye.